Hello and welcome to the stock market analysis. Let's take a look at AMD. The stock after the presence of a topping tail has declined by quite a lot and um, it's still below the 20 MA, still below the 50 MA and it's still uh, it's above the 200 MA. So it's in between the 50 and the 200 and it has declined to an area of uh, support. You can see the support area here. So let me just color it green for you to see support area and that's why it's bouncing up a bit but the question is will it continue to go up or is there going to be more decline now uh, this stock has been doing <coughs> quite well since the break of the downtrend line here where it found support near the 200 MA and then there was a bullish cross and then it had a very nice uptrend up to 220 over bucks 100 to 200 over about wow double the price in a very short period of time but it seems now that um, it has gave up a lot of its gains now let's take a look at the weekly chart you can see how uh, the break of the downtrend line it was correcting to an area of support uh, kind of double bottom and the rising 50 MA the support here and thus it rise so uh, the previous high here can actually act as a support area and this coincide with this area of support as well which is why the stock is uh, after this red bar here because it's at the area of long-term support the green bar appeared so um, the question is, will it be able to have a slowing down of bearish momentum and reverse back up? Well, if you look at the weekly chart, it's still in an uptrend, although um, the retracement is a lot. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement here to the top of the uh, topping tail. We are currently at just slightly, uh, we are at a 0 0.5. 50% retracement right here. It has slashed through a bit. Now it's trading at a 50% retracement. So this might be a good area to find uh, whether it can bottom or not. So this is a very good resistance area to find. Uh, sorry, I mean a support area for you to see if that is a bullish reversal or not. Now the other thing that is uh, good for NVIDIA is uh, uh, I mean AMD is that the stock is quite near 200 MA so even if it drops there might be a spot that's holding it at about around the area here right? but <coughs> I don't kind of like the uh, construction of it how it declines so maybe we want to see a double bottom pattern before it moves up or at least straight sideways and break out higher <coughs> so there is something we, we need to see now 16 minute chart wise the stock just uh, had the bullish cross it's above the just went above the 20 ma but went down below it 50 ma above the 50 ma but below the 60 minute 200 ma and that's something that is not very good for the stock we want to ideally see it trade back above the 60 minute 200 ma before uh, initiating any long positions in the stock okay let's take a look at uh, AMD's seasonality so May is quite a good month for it 75% chance of it uh, closing higher than it opened with an average gain of 13% so you might want to look for a bottoming process around here maybe a double bottom maybe when it reached the 200 ma and you want to consider buying it maybe a bit later in may so oh, <clears throat> since uh, the seasonality is good look for a bullish reversal pattern in the daily chart and weekly chart we already see that uh, there is a change of from red to green all right almost like a bullish hair of mine and this lows here will be very important if the stock is able to stay above this low here then we might trade sideways and then move back higher 
What about uh, stochastics and MACD indicators? Sometimes it's uh, interesting to look at it. Well, um, <coughs> it has already given a buy signal, so this might help it move higher. Uh, in the weekly chart, the MACD histogram is uh, still forming a valley. We want to see a slowing down of bearish momentum, maybe the shortening of the MACD histogram. That might uh, so show that the uh, bearish momentum is slowing down. Eventually, you want to see a MACD bullish cross that will help propel it higher. <coughs> so if it can move up, it can move up to this area, and the topping here, tail area, will be a uh, supply area or resistance area that will give you a nice tradable range of uh, about 50 to 60 bucks and uh, stochastic is quite oversold so uh, that tells us that we should get ready for to buy AMD if the condition is good don't know it's this week next week or two three weeks later but ideally we want to have a bottoming chart pattern in the daily and weekly chart so uh, I hope this analysis helps you Cuts to AMD, and I'll see you in the next one.